Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on The Demon World by Sally Green. As a quick disclaimer, this was sent to me from the publisher in exchange for an honest review. However, this video is going to contain my true opinion only. This does not affect my opinion at all. So The Demon World is a sequel, it's the second book and it comes after The Smoke Thieves which was released last year in 2018 and I also reviewed that book on my channel. I will link that down below in the description if you'd like to know all about my thoughts on that book. So this is a continuation of it so I will try to keep this as non-spoilery as possible. So I'll give you like the basic gist of the general storyline as well. So this is in a world where demons exist and when they are killed they let off this purple smoke which when inhaled people gain like super abilities like super strength and and that sort of thing like more energy and yeah they're just more powerful and so there are some people that know of this and they want it as a sort of like ability to rule and there's others that sort of use it as a sort of like hobby demon hunting and there's others that don't really know too much about it so it's kind of like quite a secret thing so during the first book we have these several main characters who have their different parts in the story where they are around the map that's in the book and they end up meeting they are all different characters we do have some demon hunters we have the princess of a crown we also have a prince we have like a servant to a prince we have another character who has just found out that he is a son of another prince and that sort of thing and yeah they all embark on this adventure and they end up meeting up in the first book so in the second book it carries on after they've met up and they end up splitting all over again into the demon tunnels there are some that would like to venture under the demon tunnels to find more about the demons but there's some that need to come back up onto the surface and just find more out about like what's going on there there's a war that's going on as well which is a fantasy novel as always there is going to be some sort of war between kingdoms so this is the second book that is in a trilogy and i must say i did actually prefer this book to the first book i found a lot more happened in this book i loved when people were venturing under the demon tunnels that they sort of didn't really have to speak they could just sort of like speak by the thoughts in the head sort of thing and I thought that was quite unique and I really liked Tash the character she's the one that would like to venture under the demon tunnels and find more about what's going on and just by the end of the book what happens with Tash I'm really excited for the third and final book that's in the trilogy to see what's going to happen next with that and then we have some characters like Princess Catherine who goes along with Ambrose and she finds her way out of the tunnel and just to find like to go to her kingdom and everything that goes on there and it's all really interesting there's two people that are kind of like on the run and just following their story of it like there's so much that's going on like with sort of like treachery betrayal and romance is in there but not a lot of romance actually like it didn't it didn't go far from the story which is what I like there wasn't like too much romance we had just enough really and yeah I, I really really enjoyed it and I even found myself laughing at certain points of this book I was just laughing at the dialogue that they were saying and I was I was just finding it so funny and I also kind of listened to the audiobook of this book as well and I really liked the narration of the dialogue I thought that was really good too so yeah it's a definite really good and interesting sequel and like I say I really really look forward to reading the third and final book that's in the trilogy to see how things are going to get wrapped up what's going to happen with Tash down in the demon tunnels what's going to happen with Princess Catherine and Ambrose and there's this 
thing going on with the two characters that are on the run from the law and what's going to happen with them and there's a couple of characters that have got a little bit separated and it's just yeah I'm not going to ruin you too much I'm just going to say some things happen and yeah it's the end of the book cliffhanger ending and I can't wait for the third installment of this so I just want to say a massive thank you to the publisher for sending this to me I'm so so grateful that they did and yeah I found it really, really enjoyable and a lot going on I don't tend to read a lot of fantasy books but when they're done right I really do enjoy them and I found that like when I was getting more and more into this book I was enjoying it a lot more so it kind of had a bit of a slow start for me but I normally like to give books a little bit of a go and then I found it was just getting better and better and then by the end of the book I was just like wow this was such a good book so yeah really really enjoyed it and in the end my rating is five out of five kickouts which means yeah I really loved it and I think more people need to read this book series in my opinion it's quite under hyped I don't see a lot of people talking about it on booktube so I feel that people need to give it a read it's a definitely intriguing concept of a fantasy story start reading the first book give that book a read like I say my review is down below if you'd like to know more of my thoughts about that and then give the sequel a go it was so enjoyable and a really really great experience so that is my end of my review for the demon world by sally green let me know down below in the comments if there's anything else you would like to know about the series about the first book about the second book anything else you'd like to know any other questions about the review if it's a spoilery question then let me know and i can sort of like private message you back sort of thing all of my social media links are linked down below if you'd like to follow me elsewhere and if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up so if you enjoyed it and that's it from me guys thank you very much for watching my video as always keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye